my brothers and sisters in the Lord. We welcome you today, Sunday, 11th August, 2024, to our weekly meditation. Because our ever faithful God is at work, his favor will surround you and every member of your household, wherever you go this new week, and his blessings will be poured upon you richly in the name of Jesus Christ. We continue our meditation today on our topic, Jericho, turning a course to blessings as we look at Jericho as a place of restoration. For the blind Bartimaeus in Mark chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. The fact that Jesus Christ also passed through Jericho and the multitude followed him showed that he also proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God in Jericho. An inhabitant of once a core city had the grace to experience and receive the blessings and message of salvation because of the reversal of the cause on it. Of course, one of those needing divine intervention was Bartimaeus, who cried out in Mark chapter 10, verse 47, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. As much as people tried to silence him, he cried out the more. And Jesus Christ ultimately asked him to be brought and asked him what he wanted, to which Bartimaeus replied in Mark chapter 10, verse 51, Rabboni that I may receive my sight. To his request, the scripture says in Mark chapter 10, verse 52, then Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. Brothers and sisters, it is not the location of where you are that matters, but who is in that location. It was the presence of Jesus in Jericho that made the difference in the life of Bartimaeus. Can I call it say, it is not the name of the church you attend that matters, but the presence of Jesus Christ, who is being worshipped and acknowledged as the true author and giver of life in that church that matters. While the crowd was focusing on Bartimaeus and shouting him down, Bartimaeus was focusing on Jesus and the need for salvation, and he was blessed by Jesus. For Bartimaeus, Jericho was not a place for sightseeing, but a place of restoration, and it did. His life was changed and his sight restored. Hallelujah. Therefore, as you go into this new week, determine to focus on Jesus in your journey of life and that shall be a restoration of everything you need to make your life beautiful. Have a glorious week ahead in Jesus' name.